Hello, everybody. This is Steve Rossetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements in part four of our eight-part basic training with Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are looking at cutting and pasting between pictures. Now, that's a function you often see associated with selections and selecting and cutting and pasting into a new photo is a pretty basic function of selection. But let's take a look at it and I want to show you both a simple way to do it, a basic way to do it in a more advanced way. So I've got this photo of this little boy and I've selected him in the picture. I've also got a background and I want to take this boy out of the Midwest and paste him on that Florida beach. To do that, the simplest way to do it is once I've made a selection and I've got a pretty precise selection there, I can just control X or command X to cut him, go to my new location, control V or command V to paste him in there. And then of course I can size him to different sizes. And once I'm happy with his position in the picture, I can press the little checkbox or just press enter on my keyboard to lock his picture in there. And that's a basic way to do it. I don't think that looks particularly natural. I don't think he blends in. I think his color tone is different in the background. So I don't think it really works, but if you just want to cut and paste from picture to picture, that's how it's done. By the way, if you look in the lower right hand corner of the program, you can turn on layers in the panel option bin here on the right. And you can see in layers, whenever you cut and paste from one photo to another, it comes in as a new layer. So this little boy here remains an upper layer and I can drag him around, reposition him and resize him as much as I'd like. And he won't be locked down to the background until I flatten the picture. That said, I'm going to delete that layer by clicking the trash can. And uh, yes, I want to delete the layer. We'll go back to the original background and we'll go back to this little boy's picture and we'll control Z or command Z to undo the cut. And then we'll deselect him by control D or command D. And now he's back in the picture. Let's use the more advanced method of doing it. If you go to guided edits at the top center of the program, and then go to the photo merge collection of guided edits and we want photo merge compose that's where you will cut from one image to another these photo merge guided edits are pretty spectacular let's choose photo merge compose and then all we need to do is just drag our source photo the little boy up into the panel and the program is going to walk us step by step through the whole process if you look over on the right it says Using one of the selection tools, select the little boy. Well, I'm going to use the quick selection. It gives me instructions on how to do it. I'll click OK. And now all I need to do is paint over the little boy. And the program's going to anticipate me and select him. Once again, if we want to add to the selection, all we need to do is hold down the Shift key. And that will add to the selection. If we want to remove from the selection, hold down the Alt or the Option key. And we'll paint out those areas we don't want. Now we can refine. You can see the Refine tool is located here on the panel bin on the right. We can refine this a lot more if we like. I got a little bit of the building in here. I got to get rid of that with the Alt key and paint over the building. There we go. Now we've just got the little boy. I can refine that and get down to individual hairs, uh, really like very deep selection, but we're not going to go that deep on this particular project. But once we've done that, I click next in the lower right hand corner and you notice that it pasted the little boy into the background. Now we can resize him. We can reposition him by dragging on him or by dragging on these corner handles to resize him. But we've got him into the picture. We'll lock that down. And I want you to notice something very important here. When we cut and pasted before, we actually cut out of one picture and pasted it into another. In this particular case, we haven't done that. The picture is still here. It's only masked. In other words, the background of the little boy in that Midwestern shopping center, that background is still here. I can actually see it if I click on the reveal paintbrush. I can paint. I'm going to make that paintbrush bigger by using the bracket open and bracket close keys. There we go. Bracket open. And I guess that's bracket closed to make the paintbrush bigger. And if I were to paint here with reveal, you notice that I'm just painting away the mask. The entire picture is still here. Nothing gets lost. If I thought I cut too much of his hair out, I can paint it back in. 
I'm going to control Z or command Z to undo that. Likewise, I can hide things. So if I got too much curl up here, too much of his hair, I can paint over that. And all we're doing is painting on a mask. So we're not actually removing anything from the photo. We're not actually cutting anything away. It's just sort of masked. And once we're satisfied with him in the picture, then all we need to do is click next again. And this is a cool feature, auto match color tone. This will now shift his color tone to match the background. And remember we had that problem before when we cut and pasted, his lighting was not the same as the background's lighting or the color was not the same. If I click auto color match, let's see what happens. The program is going to automatically shift his color to make it more naturally blend in with the background. And now he actually looks a little bit like he's standing on that beach in Florida and he doesn't look so much pasted in there. So there are a number of ways to do anything in the program. Uh, there are simple ways, there are more advanced ways, and there are more effective ways too. But that's just one of the ways to cut and paste between two pictures. Actually, it's actually two of the ways <laughs> to cut, between, uh, cut and paste between two pictures using selection, cut, and paste in Adobe Photoshop Elements. Now, I hope you come back and join me for part five of our eight-part basic training with Adobe Photoshop Elements. I'm Steve Grisetti. See you again real soon.